You see, look at him, just staring at me, as if he's saying, what are you doing in my field? Quite like these two. If they were ne- well, they are neighbours. I- I wonder what they would say. Hey, Rock! You forgot to take your rubbish bin in! Don't you get at me about my rubbish bin, that's what council's for! But the council, it's you, you laser get! Don't call me a laser get! I'll call you whatever I want to! The thousands of years I put up with you in that stony face! You see, places like this, there's normally some Leyland- not a Leylandi, that's a tree. They're on ley lines, which means you always feel this energy in the air. And I, I quite like, it makes me feel healthier, it makes me feel lighter. Avebury. This captivating prehistoric monument contains the largest megalithic stone circle in the world. I think Avebury is a, is a marvellous place, a very, very sacred place. See, a lot of people just seem to stand with their backs against them, and it's as if they're, like, feeling the energy from them, caressing the rocks. I might go and... I might have to join in, you know. Speak to me, Rock. Oh, really? Mm. It's actually rather addicted. Once you start feeling the rock, all its gorgeous textures, you just kind of want to start feeling it more. <laughs> I think I just ate a fly. I've got to say, Thank you, Rock, because I do actually feel a lot more calm and centred now. Goodbye, Rock. Of course, now, if I go feeling up another rock, I feel like I'm cheating on that rock. Ooh. Ooh quite like the look of this one, too. Do you think it a mind? Do you... I'll just ask him. Excuse me. Oh, look at the hammer. Oh. Oh, oh. Excuse me, Rock. Oh. Do you mind if I have, have a feel of your neighbour here? I'm, 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 I'm just going to. Ju oh. Hello, Rock. I was just feeling up your neighbour. Oh. The purpose of this ancient place remains elusive. Archaeologist Aubrey Bell believed that Neolithic people performed rituals here in order to appease the malevolent powers of nature.
As well as the famous stones, the village of Avebury itself is a pretty place to take a gentle walk around. Like an owl's head, this one. That's it. That's his beak. Hello, Mr. Owl. There is eyes. That's his beak. Beautiful, Mr. Owl. I like the way they can just turn their heads as if to say, "Ooh." Well, I don't know what this one is. It also almost looks like a seat, but I shan't sit on it. That would be most disrespectful. I think this one's got a bit of woodworm. Look at all these holes. This one reminds me of a lion. You see, there's its nose, there's its eyes, and I'm a Leo, so I like lions. Some people are going along, quite deliberately touching the rocks. Now they've either got a rock fetish, or there is something very sacred about touching the rocks. And I've got to say, from my experience with the rock back then, I did, I just, I felt very at peace. You see, this one's like a happy fish or a bird. I haven't quite decided if it's a bird or a fish or a parrot, but, but look, that's his eye and that's his mouth and this is his beak. Oh, that was nice. Those people behind me, they were from all different places. One was from Germany, one was from Switzerland. What was it? Oh, Austrian, that was it. And they were, and <laughs> my camera here, she thought I had a bird on my arm. Oh, she's right. I've got my iPhone out for this. But she does. I look like I've got a bird on my arm. Hey, birdie bird. No wonder I've been getting such funny looks. It's nice to know that from a distance, I just look like some crazy person with a bird on my arm. But instead, I look like a crazy YouTuber. You know, in most cases, you would normally feel like a bit of bit of a weirdo going up feeling rocks, but because everybody's doing it here, you think, well, I might as well just be a weirdo. No, what's that? I like you. I don't know what your name is. I don't know where you're from, but I like you. There's something very stylish and proud about you. You're just there saying, I'm here. Like, you don't give a toss what anyone thinks. I like you. You know what they could do with this place if the council wanted to raise some money? Is make it a burial site. I mean, the gravestone's already here. I'm not sure how big these look on film, but let me show you. earwig going in my ear. I've actually turned into a rock hugger. Oh, who cares? I must say, when I woke up this morning, I didn't think I would be ending my day having a fascination for rocks. But I have. I've, I've really learned something new. Thank you, Avery, because you've really taught me something new. And I don't know what it is about these rocks but there's certainly something very special and sacred and mysterious.
It's a rather deep puddle here. Somebody's put a um, life ring. Oh, it's a pigeon. He flew off. I didn't think I would be one to make a pigeon nervous. Pigeons love me.